Hi, I'm Damon Santola. I'm a sociologist, and for nearly two decades, I've been studying how social change spreads through social networks. In the last few years, I've been immersed in understanding the unexpected transformation of the Black Lives Matter movement. In 2020, the gruesome murder of George Floyd sparked Black Lives Matter protests across the globe. It was a rallying cry against police brutality and the systematic violence against Black people. Millions marched in their communities demanding change and police reform. But did you know the Black Lives Matter movement has been around since 2013? Back in 2012, the Black Lives Matter hashtag began circulating on Twitter. After Eric Gardner's death in 2014, the hashtag spiked to about 600 uses. Michael Brown was killed in Ferguson, Missouri on August 9, 2014. By September 1st of that year, the hashtag Black Lives Matter had been used 52,000 times. Today, it's used over 17,000 times a day. How did this change happen? The transformation that happened during the Ferguson protests involved a rapid coalescence of relatively disconnected Twitter communities into a new social infrastructure linked by wide bridges. Wide bridges are sustained channels of communication across communities and regions that establish multiple overlapping social connections. Wide bridges reflect a true collaboration, which can build action networks that span cities, nations, and continents. So how can you use this concept to trigger change and activism in your community? In my book, you will learn that the secret to change is the power of the periphery to grow a critical mass. You don't need to be an influencer to make a movement go viral. Activism that starts in a small community can grow from the periphery into the center until the whole world has to take notice and change. Hachette.